Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, my name is Ahsan Shahad. Uh, this is a tutorial regarding you how would you set up your Python virtual environment through Jenkins execute shell. So uh, let's make a um, environment for the Django um, because this would be the best use case to perfectly utilize the essence of uh, DevOps automation uh, property of this Jenkins. Uh, so uh, before uh, we go towards this uh, I would like to uh, mention some prerequisites uh, because uh, when you will um, uh, try to install the virtual Python virtual environment uh, the sudo command will not run okay so how would you give permission that your uh, Jenkins would able to run these kind of sudo commands so for that you must have to run this uh, command as in the in your terminal uh, yeah let's uh, open an, another uh, terminal and control shift v and i have pasted it, this command and it would ask for your password and then you have to put here this command jenkins all no password all okay and you will have to paste at very end okay and after saving exit from this and uh, you are now able uh, to uh, to run the you have given the permission that you can run the sudo commands as well in your Jenkins terminal because otherwise this would give us uh, error so that's why uh, these are the prerequisite which you must have to enforce before running these commands okay in your Jenkins shell so uh, let's uh, <coughs> uh, let's uh, uh, start my Jenkins uh, from my browser Jenkins local my Jenkins is running on this port locally so I will give my username and I will provide my password and now we will create another environment uh, we will create a new item uh, and give it it name as the Django and one env and we will uh, keep it as freestyle project and just okay and i will go uh, below at this point build add build setup and in execute shell i will just copy and paste these commands okay So I will uh, write here the name as mm, Django. Uh, you may give any name to your uh, environment. Django uh, V. Okay. And same name I will give here because I have to go to this directory to activate this. Uh, virtual environment okay so uh, one more thing this command is very uh, important because you are uh, asking to your this execute shell that execute these below command as dash script otherwise your uh, you will uh, not be able to make this virtual environment so let's uh, apply and save and let's go back and see where is our django this is so let's um, just uh, click on this and click on build now let's see whether it is, has been built or not let's click on this so you can see that in build history the this green tick is indicating that uh, you have successfully built your environment okay let's uh, see uh, let's click on this 
and see our console output now you can see that my virtual environment is successfully created and activated let's run a pip list uh, command in it uh, that what we have available in this uh, virtual environment to ensure uh, that whether our virtual environment is created successfully or not so let's uh, uh, go here and configure and let's run pip list okay to show uh, to see that what are the um, what are the python uh, libraries that have been uh, provided in the uh, this virtual environment or have been installed by default what are the python libraries has been installed in this virtual environment Le and then so again apply and save and we will again click on the build now it will take and you you can see that it is also built successfully and i will click on this and console output you can see i have uh, when i have pip list uh, it has given uh, these are the uh, by default packages which have been installed in your uh, virtual environment in next vi video i will tell you that how can you install all the django libraries and its uh, dependencies through requirement.txt file till the uh, till then allah hafiz Thank you.